Okay, hey guys, um, this is part two of it's gonna be Valentine's Day tomorrow. So if you're super into Valentine's Day, this is the video for you. This is the Valentine's Day tag. My video I am also posting, which is part one, is the anti-boyfriend tag or anti-significant other tag or anti-girlfriend tag, whatever you wanna call it. Um, that tag, that one, that video is also posted. I'll probably try to link it in the description. Um, I just thought the anti-boyfriend tag, I thought it was like last week I found that one, which I don't really see how it's too anti, but like, I was gonna use that as Valentine's Day because I'm not a huge Valentine's Day person and I'm single this Valentine's Day, but I thought, hey, I'll also do the Valentine's Day tag for you people that are obsessed with Valentine's Day. So what is your favorite Valentine's Day treat? Um, probably chocolate, like, or if you like made Valentine's Day cupcakes, do they have those? I'm cool with that. Any kind of sweets, I'm cool with. Um, question two, sweethearts or chocolate covered strawberries? Um, gonna say okay I love chocolate covered strawberries but I love those sweethearts I'm obsessed with those my mom buys them for me um she didn't this year but normally I have them like up until Valentine's Day it, like, they're chalky I understand why people hate them but I like love them um and I love what they say sometimes you get really weird ones and like one year it was my I think 11th or 12th grade year in high school my mom had a bag of them for me and I'd give all the really weird ones to my friend and <clears throat> they were like ones I found one that said like no like or, or like and then like stop it like which were kind of weird and there were some other really weird ones that I like had found um question three what was your favorite your favorite Valentine's Day memory um wait I'm trying to like see if I'm answering okay um I haven't I guess Probably some of my favorites are when you were in elementary school and you made the little like envelope thing, like a little, I don't know what to call it. It's like a little thing you'd hang from your desk and people would give you Valentine's. Um, two years ago when I was seeing someone, but it was a long distance relationship, uh, Valentine's Day came around and nothing was said. I mean, it was again, a long distance relationship. We actually hadn't met each other in person yet. Um, so, but we had talked on the phone a few times and stuff like that. And so in like the at the in the middle of the night I got woken up by a phone call. What? You want your Valentine's Day present tonight? Yes, but just wait one second, I'm making a video for YouTube. Oh. <laughs> um so I got like a call in the middle of the night and it was him asking if I would be his Valentine, but it was like already the next day, but that was still like a really good memory. That was like my first like Valentine, other than my mom, who was just asking if I wanted my Valentine's Day gift tonight. Did you see your Valentine's Day gift on the table? She didn't hear me. Um, okay, uh, question four. What movie would you rather watch? Valentine's Day or, or on Valentine's Day? Pretty Woman or You Got Mail? I've never seen You Got Mail, so Pretty Woman. I love Pretty Woman. Um, it is a cliched movie, um, but I totally love it. And yeah, one of my favorite movies. One of my favorite, like, cliche romance movies. Um, five, what celebrity would you not mind having on Valentine's Day? <sighs> there are so many, as you will see in my other video. Uh, Stephen Yeun from Walking Dead, the guy, I don't remember why, I can't remember his name right now, and I'm not gonna, I don't feel like Googling it, but the guy who plays Matthew on Downton Abbey, yeah, him. Um, George Clooney, I'd be okay with George Clooney. Um, I don't know why I can't think of all my celebrity crushes. David Duchovny, I'd be okay with David Duchovny. Um, and while we're at it, uh, Lauren Cohan, would love her to be my celebrity uh, Valentine's Day date person. Um, Jillian Anderson, um, I don't know who else. There's so many celebrities I just wanna, just wanna marry. The guy who plays Rob Stark on um, Game of Thrones, yeah, him. I can't remember his name either, but yes. Um, uh, blah, blah, blah. Question six. Um, what would you do on your perfect Valentine's Day date? I don't know, it's like cold around here, so I guess I can't really, ice skating, I'd be cool with ice skating. That's one thing I actually like being cold for. Um, I guess like, just honestly, again, we could order Chinese and sit in our house and binge watch a TV show. I'd be perfectly fine with it. Or if you really want to go all out for me, 
take me somewhere warm. If we're not somewhere warm, take me somewhere warm. Like it is freezing day. I almost got like frostbite, I swear, on my fingers. Um, it's so disgustingly cold out right now. Um, so somewhere warm. Huh? Um, number seven, red or pink lips on Valentine's Day. I'm not someone who really wears pink lipstick. Um, I have like one pink kind of lip stain that I like, but I don't really use much. So red, I go with red for my lipstick. Um, eight, what is your ideal Valentine's Day date outfit? Um, I don't know. I don't, are there ideal Valentine's Day? Oh, I guess that depends on your date. If I'm going ice skating, I'm just going to wear something that's warm. Something like cute and warm. Uh, I guess if I'm going somewhere fancy, um, a nice dress, probably. I don't really have red dresses, so probably like, I have a lot of black dresses, which isn't really Valentine's Day. I don't know. How do you answer that? Um, I don't have a perfect Valentine's Day outfit. Um, homemade or store bought gifts. Honestly, I'd be okay with either. Um, I'm someone, I like to make homemade gifts. So if you like to make homemade gifts, I'm fine with that. Um, again, I'm kind of simple. I, anything you give me, I cherish. I'm very like sentimental with stuff. So it could be, oh wait, um, also perfect Valentine's Day date. I said this in my other one for a perfect date. <sighs> Take me to build a bear. So I can make a sloth build a bear because they make those now and they're amazing. So you know what? That's what I want as a Valentine's Day date. I almost cried because I found out that they, it's a thing. Okay. So store bought gift again, build a bear, sloth, anything sloth I'm good with. But, um, again, I'm good with anything. If you want to bake me cookies, I like cookies. That's homemade. I'm cool with that. Um, if you're good at making stuff. Like if you, I mean, not even if you're good, but like if there's something that you can make, I'd like it. I'm, again, sentimental person, um, especially with items. Like I like to I kind of hoard items that are of sentimental value to me. Like I struggle with getting rid of, like I have cowgirl boots that are like horribly messed up and I can't even really wear them anymore, but I still have them because I am sentimentally attached. So there. Um, and question 10, would you wear your hair up or down for a date night? I, I mean, I have short hair right now, so up to me is like a low pony, like a ponytail or like a bun. I'm trying to get like a big bun on the top of my head, but I can't, for the longest time I couldn't wear my hair up. It was just down. Again, I guess that depends on what you need for said, oh my gosh, for said things. So yeah, there's the Valentine's Day tag. Um, watch my other anti-boyfriend or whatever you want to call it tag. Um, and like, comment, subscribe. If you like these tag videos, tell me. So hey. And, um, thanks to all my nine followers that I have. For real. <laughs> Bye.